am actually rescheduling the fight I was going to have originally with Lord Nightshade. Because of the fact that, well, a few friends of mine were supposed to come and help me out with the fight, but they haven't come yet. So I'm going to have to speak to them. So I decided to go to Golem Tower right now and get that over with. A lot of people are saying that you should do it while you have two potion flasks. Well, quite frankly, I went through this entire Golem Tower and... Even though I had used one, I really didn't have to because I took track of the life I lost and I really didn't have to even use one life flask. I think the main reason for this is because I'm using a life wizard. And, well, life wizards kind of don't apply to needing two potion flasks, or even one for that matter, in Golem Tower because they can just heal themselves anyway. So, uh, let's start off with some shout outs. I have the Platinum Four who wanted to give a shout out to Blaze Fire Sword to Marcus J Leaf. I have a shout out from Picture Lyrics Guy to all the wizards. I have a shout out from Mr. Sausage Kid Forty Two to Blake Fireblade, and a shout out from Manus Woodbeam to Scott from Bob the Builder. All right, so let's get back to the business of Golem Tower. Oh, before I do, uh, the other videos of the updates, the reason why I haven't posted them immediately is because, uh, well, Wizard 101 had to fix a few bugs. Like, for example, in the hatchery, it always said that the p your partner has left and you couldn't get in, so they had to fix a few things. And, well, I haven't really had the time either. But I will be posting one immediately after this one. There are about like two to four videos. I'm guessing maybe three, not four. But you know, pretty much just the updates and some of the games. Also, because the pet replenishing bar was a bit slow, they decided to make it go faster because it, you would usually get like one en one energy every eight minutes. And you would need 8 energy to play one game one time. So they decided to speed that up a bit. Which, in my opinion, is a great idea. Because then people can play with their pets more. And unfortunately, they've also decided not to sell the pets to the Bazaar anymore. For the main reason that people could just level their pets up phenomenally. Throw it at the Bazaar for a high price. And then people would just buy them that are very rich. So they wouldn't even have to train them. So that's why pets aren't sold at the Bazaar anymore. But, really, it's pretty cool. The new location, which is in the test realm, not in the live realm yet. Uh, th I'm playing in the live realm right now. Basically, it's right by where Zeke is. There's a new opening there. You need to be at least level 7, by the way, to get the quest. But, that's pretty good, considering the fact that for Grizzleheim, you would need to be level 20. Well, for this, you only need to be level 7, so you don't have to play the game that long in order to start playing around with your pet. And when you think about it, you wouldn't really get a pet until you start getting a good amount of money anyway. So you'd have to go up a few levels. So that's about level 7. Which is very good, in my opinion. The only problem is the hatchery. It's kind of a complex thing. You need two adult pets, which is understandable. But I think I don't know if this is true or not, but people said you need like 80,000 gold. I don't know if that's true, because every time I tried the hatchery, it never worked. So, I'm not sure if that's true or not. But, yeah, the hatchery is kind of difficult. When you do the hatchery, one of the two pets you use, one comes out with the appearance, and the other one comes out with the stats. That's what I heard. Uh, so, right now we're on the fourth level of Golem Tower. And let's see here. To reduce the amount of letters that are being sent to my inbox by YouTubers, everyone continuously asks me about what the gift in the corner of the screen is and why aren't I getting it. I really hate always stating this, and no offense to any of you out there who have stated it before, but that is there because it is from the iTouch game, and those are just a bunch of potions for emergencies only. So I just want you to realize that, and please stop sending me messages about why the gift is there. So, anyway, 
enough about that. Let's get back to the battle. Because the golem fizzled, we should be able to finish him off with the imp attack. And boom. The imp is a life creature in Wizard 101, but every time I think imp, I think like small devil. I mean, whenever you think about an imp, isn't an imp kind of like a... Some people say an imp is a small creature, some people say it's like a small devil. It'd be kind of cool if they made like a devil version of it, but I think it might not be suitable for Wizard 101. Who knows, they might make a death version of it eventually, and it might look like a bit of the devil, but who knows. It all depends on what King's Isle wants to do. But some of the things are good about that. Let's take out the Iron Golem first because it's stronger. Alright, the Golem fizzled. And let's see the Iron One. The Iron One did not fizzle. And I'm hurt. And now I'm going to finish it off. The Iron Golem has also gotten a new death sound to it. Usually... It used to just, like, fall down and crumble into pieces, but now you actually hear it. So, that's a new thing that they added. And, in the test realm, there are a few other things they added as well. Like, a few minor things, not just all the big updates. Like, one of the minor things is that they made, uh, let me see here, Lady Black Hope more ghost-like and translucent. And there are a few other things, like, I think there was something else with the gobblers, too. Like, they make a new sound or something when they die. But I haven't seen that yet. So anyway, enough about my jibber-jabber. Let's just finish this off. Let's go Lucky Leprechaun. Take him out. And he's gone. Alright, so we just got the Golem Tower Champion Badge, and now let's go speak to her. She's the one who originally gave us that quest. So now she's going to give us a bunch of treasure cards and some gold and a bottle burner. And, uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot the second life-only quest Willanda Wu gave us. This is basically for Golem Tower. Uh, let me just teleport to my house, that's faster. And, uh, now we have to go speak to her. My guess is the spell I'm going to get from her is going to be Life Prism, because every spell has, a, every school has their own prism except for Balance. Because Balance doesn't exactly have an opposite. So now let's speak to her. And apparently the parts we got don't fit. And now we have to go through Colossus Boulevard and speak to Kirby now. Huh. In the last video, I thought I was done with Golem Tower. Not Golem Tower. Colossus Boulevard, except with the Grandmaster quest. Apparently, I need to go back for the Life Only quest. So, that's basically what the rest of this video is going to be. Me walking all the way to Colossus Boulevard to try to find Kirby. And, uh... Kirby isn't that far, but I'm not going to be able to make it to him by the end of this video. And you want to know why? There are two reasons. One, the arrow gives me about 400 steps to go when it only showed 100 originally. And I accidentally get into a battle with a gobbler. Because I record the audio afterwards. That's why I already knew that it was going to be accidental. Of course, I was able to finish off this gobbler before the end of the video, but it took up the time I was going to use to get to Kirby. As for the battle with Lord Nightshade, as I said, that should be in the next video. And if it's not, it's either going to be in the next video or the one after, depending on how long this life-only quest is. So, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that. Alright, the gobbler's finished, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye, everyone!